welcome to the Haunted Gourmet Food Kitchen where it is of course Halloween. What everybody loves is candy. But we're not going to bother with this store-bought stuff. We're going to make our own. So join me today as we make Halloween jelly candy chocolate bars. Let's go. Okay, so to make the jelly we're going to need 110 milliliters of cold tap water straight from the tap into a small mixing bowl. Sprinkle over 30 grams of gelatin, unflavored gelatin, and I use this. You can buy these tubs or you can get the individual little packets. So sprinkle over 30 grams. And just let this sit here for about 10 to 15 minutes and we'll let that gelatin soak up the water. Okay, so now we're going to need to make a sugar syrup to mix with the gelatin and water. So, into a medium saucepan, place in 400 grams of caster sugar. This is like the finest sugar you can find in your supermarket. Not the powdered icing sugar, the finest granular sugar you can find. So, 400 grams of caster sugar and then 170 mils of cold tap water in the pan. So we're going to turn this onto a high heat and let it come to a boil. And just give it a quick stir, but then just let that come up to a boil. Right, so as you can see, it's come up to the boil, nice big bubbles, so what we want to do is turn the heat just down to a simmer. And let it simmer here for about five minutes, and you'll notice that it's thickened a tiny bit, and the colour might be a tad darker. Right, so the sugar syrup has been bubbling away for five minutes, so take the gelatin, which is now soaked up, the water and pour the sugar syrup straight over it. Okay. Now, take a whisk and just whisk this together. So, until the gelatin has all dissolved, and is one. Okay, so this is now all one with itself. So we're gonna add our chosen flavorings and colorings. So I'm gonna add the flavoring first, and I'm going to take a bit of raspberry flavoring. Just squirt that into there. And then, because it's Halloween, I'm gonna take the Halloween-y color, some nice red food colouring. A few drops. Um, the more you add, the more vibrant the colour will be. So let's mix these in. It's thick-ish, but it's uh, thick enough to mix. That's good. Okay, so for this, I've now got a chocolate bar mold. Now, these are pretty cheap, very inexpensive, um, and this came with three bars. You can do any bar shape you like, and I've poured the mixture into a measuring jug to make it much easier to pour, so we're just going to go ahead and pour it into our molds before it begins to set. Okay, so I've filled two of them. I have more left over. Um, <clears throat> so I'm now going to place in some Halloween themed sweets just into the jelly. And I'm using the, some Halibos here. And I picked these up. Um, but you can put any sweets in you like, your favourites.
Okay, so I filled them, put the sweets in, so now you need to put this into the fridge overnight to want to, until it's set, and then you can take them out the moulds, and then we'll do the next bit. So, just look at these. Halloween raspberry flavoured chocolate shaped bars. Let's see how these taste. Mm. The taste of that jelly is perfect. And it's nice and chewy. And you can see we've got the fangs, sweets in there. These are perfect for Halloween. Instead of the store-bought stuff at the shop. I'll see you next time for another episode of Gourmet Food Kitchen.